Hello guys, well with Arsenal away in Australia at the moment, every morning uh, we wake up to new headlines. Quite an exciting time to be honest. And uh, this morning there's been the kit launch. I really like the third kit, it's kind of black and pink. Probably not black, probably some sort of dark grey, but uh, yeah, it's nice. First time in a while I've thought, oh, I quite like that one. And um, anyway, Mesut Ozil's been speaking at that kit launch and he's made it pretty clear that his intention, or at least this is what he says, is to stay at Arsenal. Let me read you the quotes now. He said, it is definitely my preference to stay. It is such a great club. I've always said I feel very good at Arsenal. Once everyone is back in London, we will sit down and discuss the future. So, I mean, he couldn't be much more clear than that. He's saying he wants to stay at Arsenal. Now, what that leads me to think is there's no way he is going anywhere this summer. Granted, have there been any suitors? I mean, has there been a realistic approach for Mesut Ozil this summer? I'm not sure there has. I'm not sure many clubs are looking at the expense of taking him for, I don't know, £40 million and 350 grand a week and thinking that's worthwhile for them, especially when they could get him for free in 12 months' time. Um, so there you go. I think that basically whether or not he signs a new deal is kind of up for grabs. I think he leaves himself a little bit of wiggle room by saying, my intention is to stay. But, you know, who knows what happened? We'll sit down and talk. Who knows how those talks might drag out? Look how much they've dragged out already. If he's smart, he could play the I want to stay card uh, for a good few months, get to January 1st and be free to negotiate with, you know, Galatasaray or wh whoever it is, wherever it is he wants to go to next. Um, Interesting point made by Tim Stillman on Twitter yesterday. Bayern Munich have taken James Rodriguez on loan from Real Madrid. No interest from them in Meza Ozil, despite the fact they have recruited a number 10. That's probably not a good sign for Ozil. Uh, I think there has been a, a lack of potential suitors, and that's probably informed his decision to want to, be, to want to stay with the club. But I think him signing a new contract is not guaranteed, despite what he says. I think there's a chance that he might sit wait it out, see what happens. Um, and that is his prerogative, I guess. And I think what he's done by getting, by being back at training first and by going public with these comments quite early is he's actually played a pretty smart move because he's taken the focus off him and onto Alexis Sanchez. And for Arsenal, they're now in a position where Ozil wants to stay. So that kind of makes that decision for them. However, it leaves them open to the risk of losing a £40 million asset for nothing in 12 months' time, which piles even more pressure and scrutiny onto the Alexis Sanchez situation. You know, Ozil, sort of, Ozil and Sanchez might both be thinking, well, let's wait it out. We can go on a Bosman in 12 months. But Ozil's gone, well, I, I'm definitely going to I'm definitely gonna stay for this season. And that leaves Arsenal going, well, now we can't surely let them both go for free in 12 months. So those contract negotiations with Alexis almost become all the more crucial and intense. But like Ozil, his options are dwindling. I mean, Bayern were regarded as one of the big suitors. They've gone for Hamas. You know, not exactly the same sort of player, but given what Bayern have been saying this summer about their wage bill and various other things and wanting to sign younger players, I can't imagine them going for Alexis too. And uh, that leaves Manchester City and Chelsea potentially. Chelsea haven't been mentioned, but you know, having missed out on Lukaku, they're in the market for a striker. But Arsene Wenger has been very clear. Per Mertzak had chimed in yesterday. They will not let Alexis go to a rival. So, he's a little bit stuck. Um, maybe Arsenal can lean on him and persuade him to sign a new deal and say they'll revisit the situation in 12 months when they would be guaranteed a significant fee for him. It's going to be very interesting once he gets back to training. You'll know Ozil's come back to training. Suddenly there's a bit more clarity about his situation. So in summary, Ozil's going to play for Arsenal next season. Beyond that, we do not know. We don't know if he'll sign a new contract. We don't know if he'll stay beyond next season. But next season, Arsenal can count on Meza Ozil. Now the ball is very much in Alexis Sanchez's court. And we'll get answers on that once he comes back to London Colney in a couple of weeks' time. But for now, uh, let's enjoy... The tour, first game tomorrow. I see Olivier Giroud's been talking about his future, saying he doesn't know what's going to happen. Well, he's not the only one. Uh, lots of unanswered questions still at Arsenal. But for the answers and some analysis, 
subscribe. Cheers, guys.